Another win for UC women's basketball as the Bearcats defeat Eastern Illinois 78-64 here on a Wednesday afternoon at Fifth Third Arena. Joined now by head coach Jamel Elliott. And uh, well, this was a complete performance again from your team. Five players in double figures. You kind of had different players step up at different times today, but uh, we continue to see the improvement of this team. You know, second game in a row we've had five players in double figures. And, you know, I think the chemistry is showing um, how well we play together, um, how excited we are when players do play well. Um, you know, take nothing away from this team we played against tonight they didn't roll over and die we had them on the ropes a couple times they continued to come out and fight um, but we hung in there we uh, shared the ball I thought we were probably on more unselfish this game than we have been in a long time and it showed in the stat sheet um, we wanted to keep our, our turnovers low we did that um, you know we changed the game time so you know it was a little early in the day and I was happy that we came out and performed in a way that I was proud and I think they were too yeah, no doubt about it. Uh, team's second straight victory. It seemed like uh, the defense kind of set the tone in this one. Um, I think East Illinois, sh they shot the ball well when they shot it, but they were only able to shoot 18 times less than you did, and you forced 20, uh, 24 turnovers. So your your uh, defense really seemed to be aggressive out there today. Yeah, we wanted to pressure them. You know, we knew that if we gave them time, you know, they can shoot the ball if they have wide open shots. So we wanted them to put the ball on the floor. I wasn't overly happy with our fouling, you know, especially down the stretch. We put them on the line more than we thought we wanted to. Um, but I thought we did a good job of pressuring them. We got some steals, some turnovers, some layups in the open floor, um, which allowed us to score 70 plus points a game um, for the second time in a row. So. So some good things happening. Um, I'm looking forward to having these guys have a few days off for Christmas to enjoy their family and the holidays. They deserve it. And then coming back, one more non-conference game before we get started with the real games. You know, we mentioned the – the total team effort in this one, the five players in double figures, but I uh, got to give a highlight to Bianca Quisenberry and the day she had out there today. We mentioned on Sunday what a great game she had, but I think she really set the tone for this team early, both with her offense and defense, and uh, she seemed to have one of her better games, just one shy of a career high. You know, when Bianca imposes her will on the game, we're a different team. And when I say impose her will, I mean she's diving on loose balls, she's getting in passing lanes, she's talking out on the floor. Uh, today she was more, you know, offensive minded which was a good thing for her you know she took the ball to the basket she finished I was joking with her she made two layups in one game uh, with her left hand which is you know something that you don't see a lot from her she's missed a couple easy ones with the left hand so you know it was fun to coach that you know she's that energy guy she provided the energy everybody fed off of her and I'm happy to, happy to see that she got rewarded tonight. Yeah, she certainly uh, put together a great performance here this afternoon. Looking at a couple other players kind of following up from Sunday, uh, I remember we talked about uh, both Anna and Shanice, how they kind of played within themselves. We saw that again today. Shanice, uh, again, a double-figure scoring effort, but didn't seem like she was forcing anything. Had six steals, uh, six assists as well. She's kind of really turning into a great all-around player for you, not just a scorer. If you look at the stat sheets after our game, she is a stat stuffer. You know, sometimes with turnovers too, but, you know, she's going to get steals. She's going to get block shots. She's going to go to the free throw line. She's going to get her three, you know, one or two three-pointers attempted in the game. She's very versatile, and she's, you know, a hard matchup for anybody that we play against. You know, sometimes she gets a little too emotional, and we got to calm her down a little bit. But I love her passion. I love her energy, and I love how guys are starting to feed off of that. Her and Bianca are our emotional leaders, and when they have it going from an emotional standpoint, and then imposing their will on the game it's going to be really hard to beat us coming for moving forward yeah, you can really see the effect it has on this team when when they get things going I guess now finally just to close things up uh, looking ahead we still have one more non-conference game but and uh, that's coming up against Chicago State next Wednesday but as you approach the conference season this team seems to be firing on all cylinders and everybody kind of starting to define their roles very well well, we have one more game, like you mentioned, before conference play. Chicago State comes in um, here, and we play them. So, you know, we're excited about the opportunity to, you know, have more, one more win going into conference play than we had all of last year. And that's just a tribute to the players because, you know, we still, you know, coach them as hard every day in practice. But now they understand how – potentially good we can be and it's starting to show and they're getting rewarded we had a tough stretch there with those three games but now we're back on track great time to get a break mentally and physically spend some time with the family come back hopefully take care of business with Chicago State and then we open up with SMU um, on New Year's Eve couple big games coming ahead next week coach thanks for your time enjoy the holidays all right I appreciate it and happy holidays to everybody out there in Bearcat Nation all right that's head coach Jamel Elliott as UC moves to eight and four on the season with this afternoon's victory over Eastern Illinois